My favorite place to stay in Goa is The Nest. In 2018, you'll see it on my, um, on my YouTube page. They've moved properties. Uh, so I just want to give a little tutorial about it or video. Uh, bathroom with shower, uh, AC, beautiful bed. This uh, bungalow actually has a um, refrigerator. Check this out. Right now, we have a bar here. Every, every resort typically has like a bar restaurant. Uh, right now they're taking all the lounge chairs. You can already see them breaking it down and they're setting up for dinner all the way down the, along the beach. Because there's no walls, people come out, have dinner, On the beach uh, you'll see barbecues because they pull the water or the fish straight out of the water it's my buddy I've become friends with so many of the, the employees everyone's so nice here I love it Mohan is the uh, the owner one of the, one of the nicest guys I've ever met um, he's taking care of me uh, we built a bond, one of the nicest men. If you can stay at the nest, you'll definitely be treated well. A little chill area in the morning when the sun starts to break. I like to come out underneath the palm trees, lay in my hammock with my blanket and sleep. I'll give a little tour of the place so I can post it on YouTube. So the nest is really cute. Uh, definitely a couple's retreat. I'm here solo. Uh, can't go wrong solo as well. It's more of a, a lover's lane, if you can imagine, uh, and, and families as well. My first night I was in this bungalow. There's a family in mine, and then I moved on over. So imagine waking up. You have your own bungalows. And this is what you're gonna see. Beautiful. Look at that. They even have nets so the coconuts don't donk you on the head. <laughs> Imagine waking up to this paradise every morning. And it's the equivalent to a few US dollars, not much at all. Again, this is my bungalow. I have the hot water, the shower. These windows open up. A lot of foreigners. I'm pretty much the only American that's here. This is going on YouTube. All oh, right, yeah, cool, man. Say hello. This is this is <laughs> the owner's mod. These are all the amazing workers. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Every plate is so good. It's a wonderful meal. Thank you. The English breakfast, as well as the uh, spaghetti, it's my favorite. But you can't go wrong with anything else. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? So back in 2018, you'll see this sweet little doggy chasing me around. That's Minnie. You can go to Palo the Minnie. I'm going to film Minnie, okay? okay? Minnie. Hi, Minnie. Hi. This is the tramp. This is Lady. That's the tramp. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Minnie. She's the sweetest. She likes to wake me up every morning. She comes and says hello. And anytime I'm eating, she comes and uh, sits with me. Oh, Ray Minnie. Oh, Minnie, Minnie. You're me so sweet. You're so sweet, Minnie. Yeah, she's so sweet. Hi, buddy. Thank you. 
So again, that's my bungalow here. Let's meet some of the workers. Say hi, this is going on YouTube. Say hello, hello. Hello. These are all my new friends. Yeah. <laughs> I've been called, thank you. I've been called John Cena in Varanasi, Rishikesh, and Goa twice by two different people. So four times on this trip. And I I don't see it, but the, the Hindus do. Usually it's when I wear my hat. Uh, I think John Cena's got about 200 pounds of muscle on me. So every, every place has its own vibe. The nest. I don't, that's the nest as well with the green wall. And I don't know which each one's called, but during, that was the old nest. That's the property that in 2018, if you see the video of running around on the beach, um, I'm walking down some stairs and um, and Minnie's there she's here to greet me but it was right after monsoon so what happens is during monsoon the wind comes through and the weather comes through like um, like a hurricane they take down all from every nail every board they take all these down and so it's flat. The monsoon comes in, wipes everything out. Usually it's from July to September-ish. Forgive me if I'm wrong. And then around October, all of a sudden it kicks back up. They have live music. I was here for Diwali, so they had fireworks everywhere. And I have to tell you, it's mostly European. Uh, some locals come out. It's one of the cleanest beaches I've ever been on. The water smells not like California. California water is stinky. It's, uh, the water is warm as the air. It's beautiful. To me, this is heaven on earth. If any of you can get to Palalum Beach in Goa, stay at the nest. They're definitely gonna treat you well. The food is awesome. You just run a tab. I spend my mornings walking up and down the beach. There is a restaurant down at the end that does have a weight set, so if you wanna lift weights, everyone's chill. Everything is perfect here. Everything here is perfect. I end my adventure tomorrow. I'm so happy I came, even if it was alone. Now, check this out. There's a rock, there you go. When the water comes up, it's actually not that hard to get up, but you can jump off of it. I've been taking naps and meditating up there. But mostly everyone here is families. It's mostly European, Israeli. Oh, look at it. And if you go to Palalum Nightlife, I think on YouTube, or not YouTube, on uh, Facebook, you can find out all the different clubs, the dance parties. I was super mellow. I didn't do any of that this trip. What's really neat too is over here during the um, low tide, all the locals are over there scraping. I don't know if it's the, I don't want to call it plankton. Uh, different types of sea life as well as snails and stuff for dinner but I just sat there and observed it was amazing I even saw an eclipse
So special thanks to Mon. Special thanks to all the guys that took care of me on my trip. They've made this the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful experience. Totally hassle-free. I come from California in the United States where everything's go, 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 go. So to chill in my hammock, breathe, detox from life, it's quite beautiful. I, we got all the different nightlife going on right now. It turns it up. It's actually it's it's the fun it's the fun part of of India. Uh, I like to do all the spiritual stuff: Sarnath, Varnasi, Rishikesh, Kerala, Amaji, um, stay at the ashrams, and then you come here and it's board shorts, bikinis, seafood, nightlife. It's beautiful. So I highly, highly, highly recommend highly recommend and you can stay at different places if you have kids and stuff there's other places that have like painting for kids live music uh you just kind of have to do some research they're building these bungalows up here but they cost pennies not pennies but 15 to 30 dollars a night us sometimes more sometimes less depending if you're right in the gut of it but a lot of people come here from europe and chase the uh chase their winter or chase their summer they leave for winter come down here kind of how people in the united states go to uh arizona and whatnot but this is a beautiful beautiful place i don't want to leave tomorrow it's heaven on earth so if you come to goa stay at the nest Moan will take care of you. Look at that bungalow. You can't get you can't go wrong with that. Wake up in the morning. Look at that. Wake up in the morning to this. Right now it's low tide. The water comes up to my feet during high tide. Okay, thanks for watching. 2022 is a wrap. COVID, COVID kind of paused my stay. It's heaven on earth, it's Goa. Halalum Beach. The nest.